I say it's been there the whole time, but he just not allow us to see it this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Why? Because the vision is for an appointed time. Woo! See, there's some stuff that you think you're ready for, you ain't ready for it yet until you get to a certain place in God. But when you get to that place, Miss Wonder, he'll show it to you. Okay. Then when he show it to you, matter of God, it's going to blow your mind because you're like, it was right up under my nose the whole time. Bless God. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Right up under your nose. The whole, I said, let's go to Galatians 4. I'm excited. I, I, Thank I, I, you. Stay in 2 Corinthians, but let's go to Galatians 4. See, I'm excited. I'm telling you, man. I'm convinced. Uh -huh. I said, I'm Thank convinced. You, Lord. I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. Uh -huh. yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm persuaded, man. Thank you, Lord. I'm persuaded, man. You persuaded? Yeah. I'm persuaded. Yes, I am. Glory to God. Yes, I am. You gotta be persuaded. Yes, I am. You feel me? Thank you, Lord. See, when you persuaded, then guess what? Can't nobody change your belief. Why? Because I'm persuaded. Oh, yes. You feel me? I know that I know that I know that yeah, I know. I know. Hallelujah. And I don't care what it looks like. Guess what? I know. Thank you. I know. So I'm persuaded. Oh, okay. yes. Yes. Glory, to God. Glory to God. And you got to be persuaded on tonight. Yeah. You got to know that everything God said that he's not a man that he should lie. Oh, Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Let's go to Galatians 4. This is not the lesson. This is just what God has dropped in my spirit just then. Let's go to Galatians 4. Because spiritual growth is taking place. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Spiritual maturity is manifesting. Oh, uh-huh. See. And the devil's losing his grip on your life. Do you hear what I'm saying? I said the devil losing grip on your life. Do you hear what I'm saying? So if he's losing grip, that means God is gaining grip. Yeah. Glory be to God. But we got to be real about what we are so we can grow. Amen. See, see, if you be real about what you're in, he ain't going to be able to get you down the line. Come on now. See, let's go to Galatians 4. Let's look at Galatians 4. Look at verse 1. Galatians 4, make sure we're recording. Galatians 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's uh, pick up 4 and 1 from God. Now I say uh -huh. that the heir, as long as he is a child, okay. differeth nothing from a servant, okay. though he be lord of all. Okay, keep going. But it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Okay, so it says, now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child. Okay. The heir is a beneficiary of the uh, of the royalty. Okay. When you're an heir, that means your folks is somebody and you're the child, but we don't call you the child, we call you the heir. Uh -huh. Why? Because you're the next one in line to, to have what they have. Okay. All right? All right? So it says, it says, now I say that the heir, mm -hmm. as long as he's a child, he guess what? He's different nothing from a servant. Okay. Don't he be Lord of all. Okay. So let's think about uh, Fred Smith. I like you, Fred Smith, who owns Federal Express. Mm -hmm. Just say Fred Smith got a three-year-old little boy. Guess what? Even though the three-year-old little, three little boy owns the company, yeah. until he grow up, guess what? He ain't no different than, come on, let's look yes, at it. Sir. He ain't no different than a sir. All right. So he said, don't he be the heir? He is the heir. He's a child. Why? Because he ain't got the proper knowledge. Okay. He's All not right. mature enough. A, a three-year-old is not mature enough to run Federal Express. Okay. So he's a heir. He owned the company, but he don't run the company. Why? Because he's, he's not ready. So it's some stuff you to pray for in your prayer time. Lord, I'm ready for the hood. I'm ready for the house. I'm ready for the this. I'm ready for the million dollars. It's a bunch of stuff, and God said, yes, you can have it. Mm -hmm. But you got to grow into it. Right. See, if you don't right. grow into it when it comes, you'll mess it up, and then God won't get the glory. Okay. Why? Because you'll be back where you started from. Right. And it'll just be money that just came through your hands. Glory to God. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sitting there thinking about one of our customers right now. Yeah. Woman of God, you know, been in church her whole life. Mama died leaving like $500,000. Yes. Uh -huh. 500000 an only child. And now she and her need discount on her hurt. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Don't you be a hair. Come on now. Until you grow up. If you don't grow up, you're going to make a mockery of everything God does. Say that. Man. Say that. You're going to make a mockery of it. Now she's sitting there going through depression. Why? Because she jacked off all the... Now you back in the hood. Oh, my Lord. But when you was out here on, on, on Old Brownsville Road, yeah. 
You were smoking, drinking. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Do you know? I'm just thinking, 500,000. How you will feel if you run through that? 500,000. And you're an heir. This was the blessing. Five. Not 5,000. Right. Not 50,000. She ran through. I ain't got the house no more. Man. She ran through nothing. Nothing. That's why you got to get delivered. Because if you don't get delivered, you're going to blow it. I can tell you that right now. If you don't get delivered, you'll have so many cars in the front yard, children. The escalate, the beans, the vent, the truck, the lift, all that right there, and it have no purpose. Oh, no. no purpose. God ain't getting no glory out of your life. Amen. Then you want to call on when you're back, get up against the wall. <laughs> well, man, I told you, but we paying the church off. I gave you the money to pay the church off. You want more to vent. Come on now. Oh, wow. See, got to grow up. As we grow, our, our expectations change. Amen. Right. You know what I'm saying? The things that we do change. I ain't trying to shine. You remember, all of us, all, everybody in we ain't shining, we ain't about shining no more. We been shining. Now, if you still trying to shine that fifth, see, it's going to be a problem. Because your shine should change. I ain't saying you're not going to shine, but it should change. Because a certain shine going to attract a certain crap. And if it ain't the glory, you're attracting the devil. You're, you're attracting distraction, amen? But that wasn't where I was going tonight. Come on, let's go back to 2 Corinthians. God says it's time to grow up, though. That's the word. Though you're there, you're not different from a servant. It's time to grow up. That's it. It's time to grow up, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's time to grow up. Somebody say, I got to grow up. I got to grow up. It ain't, it ain't time to celebrate. Come on, now. Mm -hmm. Okay? It ain't time to kick it. better say that. Because, see, the devil know you've been in the face of God. Okay. He know where you've right. been at. Mm -hmm. And he got something so slick set up for you. Mm -hmm. So it ain't time to celebrate. Amen. Come on, set